Hello everybody, welcome to Heliborn. This is a helicopter-based game, as the name would imply. It's been around on Steam for a while, and I really, really wanted to show it, especially because a subscriber mentioned in the comments of one of my videos that they really like helicopters, especially early helicopters, and just so happens I also really like early helicopters, such as this. The iconic banana copter, as it's also, uh, as it's been nicknamed, that's not his actual name, it's the AM-21, uh, the Piaseki AM-21. And, well, the simple way would be kind of to describe this as like World of Tanks or War Thunder, but with helicopters. And to an extent, you'd be right, there are tech trees, there are helicopters, but this really thrives on its PvE content. Because, well, I'm in a utility helicopter, something that War Thunder, for example, doesn't really have. There are a couple exceptions, but you actually get to do the utility part of the name. So, we are carrying troops into battle, and we've got a whole bunch of troops in there. Uh, we are taking damage as well. But we're going to be using this funky banana copter uh, to basically capture this landing zone. And we are going to be landing under fire. We've got rockets, so let's use some of them to good effect. Take out the anti-air positions. There you go. Oh, taking some big hits here, actually. Just got to maneuver around. I'd rather not get all 18 of my passengers killed. Okay, it doesn't look like those actually hit. Rockets are not the most accurate thing, especially at long range. But we have lots of them. Heavy machine gun eliminated. Okay, now we can capture um, landing zone 3. And I have just realised this is not the landing zone that we're meant to be capturing. We're meant to be capturing landing zone 5. Oh well, here we are. And while we're here, we may as well dump off all our mortar men as well. And you're going to see them in action later on. Okay, everyone is off. Look at all my mortars go. Look at that. That is epic. And we have fully captured... It's landing zone 3, earning us some points. You know me, I live and breathe points. So yeah, I really like early helicopters. I think they're funny, I think they're cute. Um, for the most part, I think they're just very interesting. In my video where I talked about um, planes I wanted to add to War Thunder, almost all of them were from the early Cold War period. And almost all of my favourite helicopters are also from the early Cold War period. And um, yeah, I really love this sort of thing, this sort of funky aero. While they're still trying to figure stuff out, as you can probably tell, this was a forerunner to the Boeing CH-47 Chinook, arguably the most famous helicopter of all time. And this is basically, uh, yeah, a practice version, if you will. And you're going to be seeing even funkier versions of um, helicopters in this game, even stranger than this thing. So... Our other missions, Captain Landing Zone 5, Under Fire. Locate and destroy enemy soldiers around Landing Zone 1. Okay, um... Okay, we'll do the Landing Zone... Landing 1. Okay, uh, so if we're locating things, then it'll be a good idea to pick a scout helicopter. This is the OH-13 Sioux, um, which is an adorable little helico helicopter. Look at this tiny little thing. Um wasn't only used by the US, a whole bunch of people use this. Um, the next primary user was the UK. I've seen a couple of these used by the Army Air Corps. And yeah, they're adorable. Just look at this cute little thing. So, you might be asking, what does a rinky-dink little helicopter like this actually do? What is its purpose? What can you even do with such a thing? Well, this is a scout helicopter, so we can find things. Basically, you will encounter infantry all over these hills, and it's kind of like view range in World of Tanks. The scout helicopters are a lot better at um, locating these things. Let's just uh, use some of our rockets. But I don't really need to use rockets. Remember all those mortar men from earlier? Well, now you're going to see them in action. Just take aim, and yeah, just give it a moment. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. They take their time to travel. These are mortars, after all. There you go. <laughs> oh, the satisfaction. Oh, I love this thing. So, yeah, cute little helicopters like this also have a purpose. And scout helicopters are also the only ones that get um, 
mortar observers. So if you want to take advantage of those mortars, you need a helicopter like this on your team. So every helicopter has a role. At this early tier, there are only really scout and utility helicopters. There aren't um, attack helicopters, but you will get them later on. There's things like the Cobra, the Apache, the Hind, and all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, just wait for the mortars to arrive. And there you go, that is all of that mission done. That's good stuff. Okay, now we can return to base and uh, start dealing with uh, the other missions that we've got to do. Cap got to capture Landing Zone 5 under fire. Okay, bring it on. That's what I say to that. And another mission has just come up. Extract to base three reconnaissance units from an ambush. Okay, so first of all, we are... It's probably be a good idea... Oh, that's literally just where we were. Now, you kind of need two helicopters to do, to do this. This is more of a co-op game. There are PvP elements as well, but I've got a single room set up. Now, ideally, you'd have one person in the scout to find said infantry, because they are quite difficult to locate if you don't have a helicopter with good view range. And then you'd have someone else to actually do the heavy lifting and find everybody. Whoa, that's some heavy flak. Let's see if that, uh... Those mortars land where I want them to. We're taking a lot of hits. Come on, give me a good hit. Come on. There you go, taking out some more infantry there. Try not to hit our own units, though. Ouch. We're taking hits. Taking many hits. Whoa, that heavy machine gun. No. Ah. I mean, they got us, but now uh, we can actually do the extracting part that I spoke of. This is the utterly cute. Come on, I mean, come on, look at this thing. This is the AM25, an even smaller version of the uh, ban flying banana that we were in earlier. Another forerunner to the iconic Chinook. This thing is... Oh, it's just so cute. <laughs> it's, I love it. Now, this kind of bridges a gap between the scout and the utility helicopters. Um, it is still a utility helicopter at the end of the day. At least I think it is. Yes, it is. It's a square. Um, but it is smaller, as you can see. It can only carry four people, but uh, it is more agile, slightly faster. It's not good at scouting things, because it is a utility helicopter as well, but um, it is basically a slightly more versatile version. And holy crap, that's a lot of AA. Ouch, 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 ouch. We're on 1 HP! Oh god. We're gonna have to let Cap Landing Zone 5 uh, go, I think. Okay, well, this is not looking good for us, I don't think. Whoa, more anti air. Well, they're everywhere. Okay, so let's see. Uh, where are the three recce? I could die at any second here. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, they're up there. I see them. Oh, they got me. Okay, fair enough. But we can keep trying. Now, some of you may have noticed that the uh, sound effects and maybe some of the visuals are not top-notch. This is a tiny game. The original development team, I'm not sure how big it is now, but I'm pretty sure there's only like four people to begin with, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. It's a tiny little game on Steam that has since uh, received love over the years, mostly due to it finally picking up some awareness. Oh, hello. There's another recon unit that we have to um, pick up from an ambush. Oh, come on, come on. There is a guy right there. He's got potato aim. He's somehow missing from there. But, um... Alright, we're out of here. There you go. This thing has a chin turret, believe it or not. Look at that thing. It's <laughs> funky dual 50 caliber twin turret on this thing. Crazy. Yeah, so it originally had a small development team. Then it gained some love 
from um, more bigger YouTubers talking about it, like the Mighty Jingles, probably most famously. Yeah, get some. And uh, now it's my turn. Now I'm not going to say my uh, my tiny video is going to revive such a game, but um, well, it's nice to spread awareness on a cute little game. It hasn't. It's not the most active, so don't get your hopes up. But it is. It scratches a very particular itch on my brain. I think it's like a one-of-a-kind game. There's really not much like it. And. Um, yeah, it's just cool if you want to sit back, relax, just have some casual helicopter fun. And I say casual, the higher tier stuff, when you get the Black Orcs and the Cobras, it does get a bit intense. Oh man, there is sometimes, like, when you go on some of the later maps, there's like a map in, I think, Afghanistan, it's set. And you're flying through these, like, hilltop valleys, a bit like this, actually. And you've got these two gunners on the Black Orcs just going absolutely mental. <laughs> it's very chaotic, especially when you land at a landing zone while there's a big battle going on and your gunners are just... Yeah, it's very exciting, to be honest. Okay, so we've extracted the reconnaissance and now we bring them back to base, earn some more points. Now, in order for us to win, we have to basically do 12 of these tasks. You can edit it to have more or less tasks, but 12 is like the standard. So we've just done two at the same time. We're already at four out of twelve. If you lose, you can lose by basically not doing ten of the tasks, which is, um, yeah, it can happen. This is normally a game that you play with people, or people can join at uh, random, basically. Okay, there is some more reconnaissance-based missions that we need to do, so we're going to do that. Do we still have all our mortars? We do still have all of our mortars. That's good. So we're basically going to find and destroy the infantry around these ambushes and then get another helicopter to extract the recce themselves. Starting with over here. You may have noticed I have a wonderful MASH skin on uh, this OH-13. Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> I haven't seen uh, MASH, but um, from what I hear it has something to do with an OH-13. And it's set during the Korean War, so I probably should actually watch it. Can my mortars hit something from over there? Oh god, I hope they can, because they can hit me. Just wait for the magic to happen. Oh, look at that! Oh, ho, 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 ho. The mortars are probably the most satisfying thing in this game, to be honest. Boom. Boom. Go. So we have pretty chonky rockets on this thing. Uh, that's why we only have six. Uh, there you go. Fire the M60s. Okay, they've all been taken care of. Now I should probably fly back to base before I do the other mission because, well, we're about to run out of time. It would take too long otherwise. So let's hurry back, get the AM21. Or is it 25? I think it's 25. The tiny should have. And uh, extract those four recce. Because that helicopter has four seats. So, kind of perfect for this job, actually. Okay, so here's the base. And you can see how nimble this thing gets compared to some of the other helicopters. Oh, yeah, look at that. Drift it in. I've mastered the art of helicopter landings. Let's see how smooth this one can be. There you go, not bad. And, okay, here we go. I really can't get over how much I love this thing. It's so cute. Alright. Off we go to pick up those uh, four recce. There and back again. And it is, as you could probably get the gist of, it's quite a relaxing game. There is in-game music that plays, which I have turned off um, for reasons. It's basically like some metal music that would play in the background, but personally, eh, I found it a bit irritating. And if you really want the full experience, you'd play your own music. Up some like Vietnam War tunes and uh, grab a Huey and <laughs> it's pretty immersive, not gonna lie. 
Right. Everyone's on the battle bus. Let's go. And then we can get some more points and bring them back to base. So that was Helleborn. I didn't show you the whole game just because I didn't really want to uh, drag on the video too much because it can go on for a while if you're doing it on your own. This was more just to show you what Helleborn is and what um, it's like and to maybe generate some interest. This isn't a sponsored video, um, but I would recommend playing it if you just want your own little helicopter game because helicopter games like this are quite hard to come by and um, like I said this is probably the only game in the world that features helicopters like this for example. Now um, before we end this one um, I thought I'd just show you some of the other helicopters you can get in the game. You can create these squadrons, these are basically your presets uh, that you take into battle. I've deleted all mine and I've only got the tier 1 versions um, because uh, I basically wanted to try and like start them again because uh, they're a bit dis disorganized. Here is the Russian one that I have at the moment um, with this comically large box car. And uh, let's have a look at the actual progression, which is the tech tree. And this is the West tech tree. And I say the West because there are more than just American things here, like, for example, the Pathfinder, a.k.a. the Westland Scout, and uh, the MC-500, which is an Israeli, um, or Israeli version of an American helicopter. I've nearly finished it, as you can see. Um, just getting the final stuff, like the... Uh, this is really the one I want most, the um, Seahawk. Unfortunately, it doesn't get door gunners, and the door gunners really are like the saving grace for basically anti-infantry. They are on crack. I don't know what they've been uh, paid, but it's definitely slightly more than they are owed, because they are working extra hard. And so helicopters like this, the Super Huey, um, is uh, a lot of fun when you get those door gunners unlocked. And here is the Russian tree. There are some familiar faces, like, for example, the Hind. Uh, however, there are also some less familiar faces, like this thing. Um, well, actually, that's fairly iconic, actually. This thing, though. Um, no, that's the KA-50. What am I saying? This thing, though. That is strange to look at. And uh, so is that as well. Very strange things, indeed. Um, and here is a better look at some of them. This is one of my Black Hawks. This is the pride and joy of my uh, fleet. These things, uh, those gunners there. I've only got uh, the M60s on there for some reason, but these rotary cannons are hilarious. <laughs> they really are. Um, and there's a whole bunch of interesting things. Some of them you may recognize, um, like the Chinook, for example, obviously. And the Sea Knight, this thing is a lot of fun as well. Just basically just to carry so many troops into battle. Preferably mortar teams, because you saw how effective those were and um, so on and so on and so on and uh, let's just have a look oh and here's the mighty jingle skin that I mentioned uh, probably because he was arguably the contri community contributor or, or youtuber that brought the most attention to the game so uh, he's got a little sort of thank you in there which I think is really sweet um, and here are some of the less desirable to look at Russian helicopters <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a fun game, and I would thoroughly recommend this thing. Um, it's a it's a glorious bit of fun, and uh, if this seems like your thing, then give it a go. It's not too expensive on Steam, um, and it's perfect for just kicking back, chillaxing, and enjoying the fun. Anyways, if you like that video, then do hit the like button. Comment down below what you think of Heliborn. Are you going to give it a go? Have you already given it a go? And of course, um, check out the other videos on the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.